Yes. Yes, I did it. <laughs> I enjoyed every bit of it. I watched him beg for his life. The almighty chief Danga. As I took a knife and cut it off, there was blood. So much blood. Blood everywhere. I got him right exactly where I wanted. I'm not the devil here, I promise. Of course, what could a man do to deserve such painful death, you would ask? Chief Danga was a very good friend to my father. Chief, my father at that time was struggling with politics. Chief Danga was always available. Chief Danga was everywhere. Chief Danga the philanthropist. Chief Danga the saint. A man everyone loved. Whenever he came visiting, he would always come and see I and my siblings with a box of chocolates. I was the only girl amongst three boys. My princess, come and sit on my laps and then see what I got for you, he will say to me. When the first incident happened, I spoke up. I told my mother and then she told my dad. But they tagged me a liar. The innocent chief Danga can never do wrong in their eyes. Mind you, when the second happened, I spoke up and then the third and fought till I got tired of being tagged a bad child. I suddenly kept mute. All of a sudden, the outgoing and bubbly Veronica started to keep to herself. I became an introvert. I would cry day and night. Nobody believed me, not even my own parents. They were too blinded by my father's political ambition to notice the change in my behavior. I was just 15 years old. 15 years old! Slowly, it advanced from touching me in private areas to actually doing the deed. That beast infected me with HIV. I, will, I have been tested HIV positive. Then I ran away from home out of fear and frustration. Few years later, I summoned the courage, picked up my phone, called him and told him I wanted to meet him in his house. He was so happy to hear from me. Oh, how I marched to his house that fateful day, as you would expect. <laughs> he was waiting for me, but naked on the bed. Such a shameless fool, never changed. Chief, today is a very good day, I said. He was shocked as how receptive I was of him. I ah, can I get you a drink so you have enough energy before we start? I asked him, very foolish indeed. He never suspected anything. I added some pills that made him doze off. And the rest is history. <laughs> and don't even dare tell me it was already a few years past people like him deserve to be wiped off the face of the earth I, Veronica, say again I did it and I am the voice of the voiceless